Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. Please feel free to leave a comment and ask any questions you may have. I read all your comments and I do my best to answer all your questions. Sometimes they slip by me, but that doesn't mean I'm intentionally ignoring you. I just haven't found it yet. Our children aren't really children anymore. In fact, they're all adults now and living their own lives. And yet, hmm, they still drag out their Christmas stockings on the 1st of December each year. And I know that tomorrow, while I'm putting up the Christmas tree, those stockings will magically appear. Now, I made each of the stockings for their first Christmases. And they sort of bring back lots and lots of memories of little boys and trains, of a tiny baby girl. She was so tiny, sitting in the arms of her Christmas teddy that was about four or five times her size. And I remember the things that went into those stockings. Opening the Christmas stockings on Christmas morning was the highlight of the whole day for our kids. They get one big gift each, but then they had their stocking. And, you know, Santa filled those stockings with so many good things that they just loved. There would be Batman undies and socks for the boys, Wiggles toothbrushes and toothpaste, um, lollies that they never got, chocolate coins because they're a Christmas tradition, Always a brand new face washer with a picture of their favourite thing at the time on it. Um, new PJs, coloured pencils and colouring books. Lots of other bits and bobs that I would pick up for oh, very, very little through the year. Now they're grown up. So I skip the Batman socks and the Barbie knickers and they sort of think that, you know, at their age, Wiggles toothpaste is just not quite what they need. The toothbrushes, the Thomas the Tank Engine toothbrushes and things don't, yeah, they don't make it into the Christmas stockings anymore. These days, because they're grown up, there are other things that um, I put into their stockings. Things like the chocolate coins, because it wouldn't be Christmas without them. And, you know, little boxes of their favourite cereals. I look for the um, Kellogg's cereals when they're on sale. Sometimes I'll pop in an iTunes voucher that I've bought on sale. Lots of other little things that I collect through the year and put into their Christmas box so that on Christmas Eve I can put them in their stockings. There might be sampler packs of different chocolate drinks or different coffee flavours or um, a new type of cordial. Might be samples of the latest perfumes for Hannah or aftershave for the boys. It could be the latest edition of their favourite magazine because they do have them. Sometimes movie tickets. None of these things cost very much and often, you know, as in the case of the samples, they're free. So that leads me to say stocking stuffers don't have to be big and they don't have to be expensive. Doesn't matter what you see on Pinterest, doesn't matter what you see on TV, stocking stuffers are little things and in fact they should be easy on your budget. There are just too many potentially very expensive things marketed as stocking stuffers because they're small enough to go into the stockings. Things like gift cards, iPods, jewellery, most DVDs, they're not stocking stuffers. Those things are gifts in their own right. Now, I have some ideas for children's stocking stuffers because, you know, they're plentiful and easy to come by. Op shops garage sales, markets, $2 shops, um, your Kmart, Target, Big W clearance 
aisles, you will find lots of things that can be stocking stuffers. Things like hair tidies, um, the elastics, the ribbons, the clips, little matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars. I found when our kids were little, anything small, mini, mini toys, books, pens, they loved anything miniature. Again, small boxes of their favourite cereal, especially if it's one that is a treat cereal like um, Cocoa Pops or Fruit Loops or whatever. Little bags of sweets. Our kids didn't get sweets during the year, so they were a real treat for them. Um, textures, colouring books, the licensed socks or undies, whatever the current craze is. I have no idea for little ones because we don't have little ones, but if you've got them, you will know. Same with the licensed toothbrushes and toothpaste. Their own face washer. Our kids loved having their own face washer. It was theirs. Nobody else would use it. And it helped me because they knew which one was theirs. Same with their towel. Oranges. A bit traditional. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of tradition in your Christmas stocking. Um, small storybooks small notebooks if the child is a bit older, pencil cases, rulers, because they can easily be personalised. Now, I said before DVDs are um, a gift in the, on their own right, and they are, but sometimes you can find, you know, the $2 DVDs and they are good value and they might be something really interesting for your child. So pop one in if you can. Tra excuse me, travel games. If you're doing a theme for the gifts, you know, something along that theme, i.e. you're doing a, a beach holiday, so you might pop in new surf shoes or new bathers. I always put things that the kids would need through the coming year in their stockings, but I made them special. You know, a good example is the Batman socks for the boys and the Barbie PJs for Hannah. They would need socks and they would need PJs. I'd have to get them anyway. And the kids knew that during the year, if they needed anything, mummy and daddy would only get plain, plain PJs or plain socks or whatever because we didn't have the money to spend on expensive licensed things. So having the special things even though they were practical in their stocking, gave them a gift that they absolutely loved and it was something we'd have to buy anyway. So it sort of killed two birds with one stone. Now, some ideas for stocking stuffers for adults because you know what? My kids are all adults, but they still like their stockings. Wayne loves his Christmas stocking. Hannah does my stocking for me each year. So, Hair tidies and ribbons or beautiful silk scrunchies. Kmart have a lovely range of scrunchies at the moment or you can make them. They are simple. Miniature perfume or aftershave samples. Lavender sachets. Again, really easy to make if you can't buy them. The, the mini chocolate bars, the ones that come in the multi-packs, I take them out of the box and tip them into the stocking throughout all the other gifts. Let's mix it up. Candy canes, another Christmas tradition in our house. A special Christmas tree ornament. Now you can buy it and then you can personalise them easily enough or you can, you know, buy a personalised one if you want to. But, you know, Reject Shop sells tubes, Kmart sells tubes of baubles and you can decorate them really, really easily. So if you've got an artist, craft paints, watercolour sets, crayons, um, good pencils, good coloured pencils or watercolour pencils. You can do coffee, tea or hot chocolate packets, chocolate coated spoons, uh, cookie cutters if you have a baker in the family, a deck of playing cards. You can do monogrammed pens. You can buy a nice pen and monogram it yourself, gel pens. Um, the, uh, what are they called? The colouring books, the colour by numbers, colouring books and gel pens make lovely gifts. Small notebooks, golf balls, monogram them if you've got someone, a golfer in your family. 
puzzle books, su sudokus, um, word searches, crosswords, those sorts of things. And you can get little ones, miniature ones that are really good. Little Lego kits. Now, our, our boys are adults, but they love Lego. So small Lego kits. Monogrammed hankies. You can easily stitch a monogram, cross-stitch a monogram onto a hanky. No special skill required. Um, lipsticks and lip glosses or lip balms in little tubes or little tubs that you can make it yourself. Lotion or lotion bars that you can make yourself. Nail polish. Why not pop an orange into an adult's Christmas stocking? Because really, a little tradition does not hurt and it helps to keep everyone grounded. Socks, you know, you can go the licensed socks or the funny socks or whatever. Travel-sized games, wine charms, you know, the little charms that go on glasses. And they can be made really easily. So think about what you're putting into it. It doesn't have to cost a lot. When you're stuffing the stockings, just think small because too many large items and you won't fit everything in. And too many small items, the stocking won't be stuffed. So try to choose a variety of different sizes so your stocking looks plump and lush. <clears throat> and look, depending on the size of the stocking, you can have three or four larger items and fill the gaps with smaller things. And it should do. This helps too, and it's something that I've always done and I'll do it again this year and I wrap each item that goes into the stockings oh I can hear the gasps from you know I just know everyone's going, oh the paper the paper look it's a great way to use up the wrapping paper scraps but it really helps build the excitement on Christmas morning I can tell you even grown-up kids love ripping wrapping paper off lots of little presents come on it's it's christmas guys it's once a year in our house the children didn't get presents through the year they got christmas and birthday that was when they got their presents so unwrapping a gift was special it wasn't um common it wasn't ordinary it wasn't run of the mill it was special and it still is for them. It's still exciting. If I think of it this year, I will take a photo of our lounge room on Christmas morning <laughs> and post it. So wrap the gifts. You can recycle the paper if you want to. Um, iron it, fold it, use it again next year. Or you can put it in the cycle bin. Now I want to know, do you do Christmas stockings? Do you do Christmas stockings for your children, for your adult children? What do you put in them? Do you have themes for your stockings each year? Do you collect for them through the year? Let me know in the comments below. I'd, lo I'd love to know. Now, before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, please click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and you can select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel and it helps our channel to be um, recognized more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, regardless of what we are told. And it is absolutely doable even in today's crazy world again regardless of what we are told we do not have to live with debt okay thank you for sticking with me so far have a great week everyone happy cheap skating and i will be back with another video very very soon